Hello and welcome to the Drinking Thoughts Podcast. My name is CJ Sketch. I'm Tom Keeney. You should talk into your mic like this. <laughs> I, I'm talking at it sufficiently. It was over here and picking me up decently. So. Uh, all right, this should all right. be fine. I'm, I'm going to be louder fine. than you, so I'll have to equalize my voice. It's, okay, no, it's fine. It's whatever. All I, right. I can talk up if you want. No, it's, it's fine. Just that, you know, I'm, I'm louder than you. It's a thing. 22 That's in the morning. real life, is it? But don't say that. Don't. Don't say that. Don't. No. I. I Fuck it. I'm, right. done, I'm done so with this podcast. Be I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> Okay, so this is the podcast, and um, everyone's doing podcasts, which is kind of why I want to do a podcast. Is like I want to do. Well, I kind of wanted to do a podcast for a while. You so, like jumping on fads. I do like jumping on fads. Vine I will, and what? I will say that. Oh, I yeah, I did jump on Vine for a li- very a little bit, and then I found out I can't do this. <laughs> They're all the same thing. It's just me sitting in Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> working and being paid, yeah. which was and, a terrible and thing. Doing your magic finger. Uh, magic fingers. <laughs> Which I still will say sometimes when people need stuff to be done, like when uh, people are trying to clock in at work, and uh, and then I clock in, yeah, and then because like, they can't get it to go, um, which it is a time clock. Have you ever used a modern time clock with the scan thing? And it's not important. Um, <laughs> it's not important. It's but, an electronic uh, version of a punch card thing. Yes, yeah, but it, no. So this is the podcast where we're going to be talking about whatever, that, really whatever we want. We're going to be. It's called Drinking Thoughts. Because we took about, how long would you say for thinking of stuff? We were like, uh, well, we had a few, uh, let's throw out some of the ideas we had. It was at least five minutes, but some of that time we spent looking at pictures of Star, Star Wars. Wars. That's right. Okay, um, I was a little distracted. Um, but anyway, no, some of the thoughts um, were okay and some of them weren't okay. Yeah. Um, some of the stuff were done. So drinking glass is what we went with because we're going to be drinking some beverages. Um yep. Mine's alcoholic, Tom's is alcoholic. Don't, they don't always have to be. Tom and I are both over 21. Am I calling you Tom or Thomas on this? I don't know. Uh, T-Dog? My name is Tom, you call me Tom. Oh. All right, shit. People at work uh-huh. call me Thomas because they actually call Tomas. me Tomas. Tomas. And I find Hola, it quite Hola, senor. Si senoritas. Welcome to the podcast. I do not speak Spanish. Anywho, um, so mine's alcoholic. Uh, what are you drinking, Tom? Um, Mike's. The uh, Black Cherry. Mike's Black Cherry, uh, not not a sponsor. I feel like that's important to say. They were talking about that on a different podcast I was listening to earlier. Um, sponsorship and stuff. Uh, mine is a Black Cherry Merlot wine type thing that's not terrible. It's not the best wine I've ever had, but yeah. yeah. So we're going to be drinking and we're going to be talking about our thoughts. We They're not all drunk thoughts, but they're thoughts. Um, they're drinking so, thoughts, though. They're drinking, they drinking thoughts. thoughts. Um, and you may drink these thoughts with your ears. Yes, Exactly. So, <laughs> words to that. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, cheers. Shall we? Uh, yeah, clink. Salak. There was a clink. Salak. Um, that means cheers. <laughs> uh, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so, I guess you should start out, because this is more your first, the first one to talk. We're talking about, go, take, take, take yeah, down, so, take down. I mean, this is just a thought, um, that the first episode will be, what I'm passionate about in life, and the second episode will be what CJ is passionate about in life, and um, ultimate. Yeah, basically. So my main passion is starting my own society um, of people who all have the same ideas about what life should be like and how society should be governed and uh, things like that. So I would like it to be self-sustaining. Uh, ecologically friendly, um, uh, direct democracy, so all laws and regulations and all that stuff get voted by, on by the people. Uh, I've been doing research into... Better than America. Yeah, well, wait. <laughs> uh, <laughs> by the way, I'm anti-patriotic. Uh, well, I am. I don't uh, want let it be known that the place. views and opinions of both CJ Sketch and Tom, whatever his last name is, on the internet, um, are not necessarily shared by the parent company of Dead River Productions. Um, Although I feel like that's maybe a necessary <laughs> thing. So, but we have free range here because uh, we don't have an HR department. Because we're technically not a company yet. But go Woo! on. So Topia. Topia, Topia is Topia is the name. Oh. 
Wow, sorry. Way to go. I kind of jumped the shark there. My apologies. That was on you. Welcome to the other side of the edit. Um, technical difficulties and uh, just asking you, Tom, what is what is the name of that society that you've been <laughs> researching about? Topia. Thanks for asking. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, so Topia. So tell, tell me about Topia. Um, tell you more about Topia. Tell me, yeah. Tell yeah. me more about Topia. Where Where is Topia? Be? Where is it? Where is it going to be? Um, besides, in my head. Uh, I'm not really sure. There are <laughs> places that I am interested in. Uh, I've done a bit of research looking at rainfall and average temperatures and stuff like that. Because, you know, I need to make sure our crops are going to be able to grow. Obviously. But, uh, of course, there's greenhouses and stuff like that. So, with technology, the, um, there are more options than what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. But India, the Philippines... Um, decent amount of South America and Middle and Southern Africa okay. are viable options based on my limited research and limited knowledge. Yeah. You haven't been to any of those, though. So. Yeah. Have you been to any of those? Not yet, but I'm going to mm. Cancun in November. That's so really good. that the is area. somewhere in South America. Well, it's Central America. That kind of threw me it's off. Core, it's think. sort of North America still. But anyway, um, so I'd like Topia, yeah, Topia, do you have all sorts of people in it, people with different backgrounds and different opinions to make sure that, you know, we have lots of ideas, uh, as long as we can all agree on certain things. What about things. the gays? Yeah, sure. Although, did you know Immigrants? that the gays also already have their own country? Like, there's a nation for the LGBTQIA, whatever. AI, else. I believe, is the correct AI. Um, um, there is? Really? Community. Yeah. Well, let's not get too distracted, but yeah, sure, it's community based, but yeah, sure. Yeah. What? Explain? Yeah. I uh, didn't know this. So <laughs> there's an island <laughs> off the coast of Australia yeah. that uh, some people went to mm -hmm. because Australia has been passing some anti-gay laws yeah. as of late, and these people felt they were being oppressed, and, you know, they were. So they went to this island off the coast of Australia, yeah. and according to uh, the United Nations laws, laws, whatever they're actually called, um, a people in a foreign land if they are being oppressed by a the parent company or whatever the parent terminology company. for it is. Yeah, yeah. Um parent country. Sorry, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> a company or other. Um well, the company have, is basic or country yeah. is basically a company. Yeah, yeah, it's but, but anyway. company. Uh so the foreigners that are being oppressed have yeah. the legal right, according to international law, to secede from their parent nation. Okay. And so a whole bunch of gays went to this island and they seceded from Australia. And international law says that they can do that. Whether other countries recognize them as a country is, you know... Yeah, it's still a thing. It's in progress. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little worried no, not, that, that if that, that information gets a bit too big, yeah. um, you might get essentially a country much like what Australia was, where it's like, Let's dump all the people we don't want there on that island, sort of thing, where people might be like, "Oh, hey, there's a country for you guys. Go there. Get out of our country. We shouldn't." Yeah. You know what I mean? But Though, who knows what their immigration law is? That's a whole other thing. Oh. We can uh, talk about uh, gay rights and everything and our opinions on that because it's something I'm a bit passionate about, and yeah. I think uh, it actually would be nice to have our other, our friend Rob on, uh, one of our friends Rob on for that because I believe he's passionate about the situation as well. Yep. Uh, perhaps. He's a big civil rights advocate. Yeah, civil rights of all one. sorts. He'll be on the podcast. <laughs> Anyways, so back to Topia. Yes. Um, I would like to go back to Topia. <laughs> well, it doesn't exist yet. Someday, Someday I may sorry. go back. <laughs> um, yes, when we're when we're on episode three hundred, and I'm out in California making my stuff, and you're visiting to make the podcast and maybe help with some writing or whatever. When I mean, we're doing stuff, so maybe this is we'll not a daily podcast. Okay. Um. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, schedules are a thing. Anyways, 
Topia. Yeah. Um, what do you like? What would you like to talk about about Topia? Well, the things that I'm most excited about, possibly and hopefully being able to do in Topia, are scientific advancements. Um, because if we have the resources to do so, mm-hmm. I have lots of ideas, and many of them are uh, alternate energy sources. Yeah. Um, but there's some like genetic engineering. And of course, being your own civilization or uh, own society, yeah. you wouldn't be governed by the laws. Right. So as long as you would, it's found. Sure. Yeah, like like everyone in the community could vote to say, "Is this ethical for yeah. us to try?" I think you're still bound by the Geneva Convention, unless no, you wouldn't have signed Geneva that. Geneva so. conventions. I don't, really, apply I don't really to understand. warfare. Yeah, I don't really totally uh, understand what those are. And but that's also, not they apply to people that didn't sign it. They do. Ah, okay, cool. Because yeah, it's... I mean, yeah, because that actually makes complete sense. Because if it didn't, yeah. there'd be, like, just people that would do stuff and yeah. wouldn't have Because, to. well, I mean, you can choose to not obey the Geneva Convention. Yes. But if you don't win this war, or even if you do win the war, if you get caught anyways you get put on war crime trials. Yeah. And those tend to end badly <laughs> for those who are Yeah, working. yeah, they do. Um, but yeah, so uh, what kind of scientific advancements were you thinking for Tobia? Um, well, I have an idea for a smartwatch kind of thing. You want to become the leader? In so, scientific advancements? A smartwatch? Really? Yeah, but it's like specialized for small communities. It allows me to communicate with other people, keep track of my biometrics. Oh, okay. A decent amount of stuff that is already uh, abled, abled, enabled in uh, smartwatches today. But yeah. it, uh, it gives me access to, like, my documents and my calendar yeah. and, and like a, other people's calendars. It's a small you. network. Yeah, and it's all on the same network. Oh. Um, That's pretty cool. I want Tobia to have its own network that everyone can access yeah. from whatever location. They just have to sign in and whatever. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then uh, energy harvesting techniques that are still kind of in development, I'd like to try out as a major way of harvesting energy. Like those uh, uh, windows that I talked about ah. last night with that stranger we met in IHOP, <laughs> where light we goes can... into the window, the visual yeah. spectrum light keeps going through, mm-hmm. and the infrared light gets scattered to the outside, where it is absorbed, yeah, uh, collected which, like a solar panel. I don't think I've heard about which actually was seems really cool and yeah, it's really dope. I, or I think I've heard of something similar to it, but yeah, that's pretty. And cool. Imagine putting that on a greenhouse. Oh, wait, there you are. <laughs> um, well, I mean, then there's the well, then there you have like some implications of do plants use infrared light for photosynthesis? Like, uh, stuff. they're getting some light. Like, I don't know how that would affect that. That's just a thought. But um, so technological advances, um, genetic engineering, genetic engineering of cremons, as I'm calling them. I'm calling monsters. Creatable monsters, Cremons. Well, creatable um, creatures. Cree-crees. Um, Until monster doesn't have a derogatory term. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Think about um, a Pokemon or a Digimon or a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh mon? I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh mon. Um, um, <laughs> that you would really like. And um, imagine actually having it because we can design it for you. As well as eugenics. Um, so, not only... Uh, is eugenics similar? I'm, eugenics I is... I don't, I don't... I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't really know a lot about this stuff. It's not... I've talked about eugenics with you, but that's a very different though. thing. Okay. Eugenics is that... What about if I want wings? Population Tom. control method for well, you're, getting... Will your Cree Cree Cremon company yeah. help with that? If you want wings? If I want wings. That's different than creatable creatures. That's okay. altering you. All right. But well, we might be able to do something about that. All right. So again, he wants to become Mega Man. Tom. Yes, he does. So yes, he does, and I might be able to do that. Anywho, <laughs> <laughs> I have the technology. Now, we'll have the technology. The listeners may be thinking that <laughs> this is going to cost a lot of money, and well, 
Which it, one? It, Topia. It, Topia is going to cost a lot of money. Yeah. Well, and so it's a creative. In, yeah. Uh, Topia. Go on. <laughs> Such as. Sorry. <laughs> um, I would like Topia not to use money within Topia. Topia as Socialist, community, communist, no, collectivist. These are all things we've called Tom. But he calls himself a collectivist. And I am collectivist. And I would like Topia to be collectivist. As, so everyone's basic needs will be met. And then some. Because we want people to be happy. And they will all be mindless drones. No. They will bend to the will of Tom. What purpose does that serve? He is the master. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I'm the master, are you the doctor? Yes. Speaking of which, oh, we're going to have a doctor. <laughs> no, I'm excited for the next I don't know. If because the master that's... and the doctor are like friends ish. Okay. Anyway. We're going to have to talk about that Topia. after. Topia. <laughs> Topia. I have some problems with that. Anywho. Um, <laughs> that's on that. Topia. Um, there's no edit. Like, what? This is going to be a little bit. No, there's no editing. Well, I'm I really quietly, so. That might not be there's, okay. There's going to be a little. There's no cutting, is what I'm talking about. Anywho, so Topia's going to have these um, no money. It's going to work off with, of a barter system, itself. some type of barter sort of system. No, um, it, I don't basically know how that works. If you, what do you want? You want another drink? <laughs> Looks like you want another. Maybe. Drink cause you <laughs> oh, because so, I finished. I'm an alcoholic. Is that no, it, Tom? You just. I just finished. You my look like a man that could drink. use a second drink. Oh, because I'm a man, I have to drink. No, because you he's sexist Hispanic. piece. <laughs> of, I apologize. For you that just thing. said Hispanic, and wow, just I'm sexism, sorry. racism, alcoholism. I'm fine, 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 fine. Because you're Irish, you know. That's better anyway. Oh no, it's fine because you're Irish. Anyway. Yeah, it's fine because um, I'm Irish. Wow, well, that's, that's how that works, right? Off. That got off. Got off words. That got off words. Um, you don't want. Okay, so. It, so you I think I have a fundamental understanding of, of what it works is. Yeah, so our listeners don't. Our listeners don't, but I'm going to try and describe it oh, a little bit yeah. so maybe my voice gets on the podcast. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Voice. Other than just kind of arrogant, yeah. ignorant interjections, which is kind of what I do. Yeah. And I feel and other interrupt. ignorant words. Plus, you have to drink some. So um, the way I understand it is, uh, let's say I'm a baker, and I, I bake things. So that's sort of what I do. That's my passion. Yeah. So I do that for the community. So I bake like the breads and stuff, and the community gets bread. Mm -hmm. But I let's say I need um, I need a new suit of armor or something like that. Sure. Um, Hypothetically. Like let's be more realistic. I need I need my my lawnmower fixed. You know, I need a mechanic. I mean. So I I your can, personal robotic companion needs to be fixed. Okay. Right. Maybe I like lawnmowers. Yeah, but that's going to be done by a robot, probably. All right. Well, what if I don't... What I'm, so what, what if, if you well, want to mow the lawn? I if, guess, yeah, sure. If we'll I want to mow... Yeah. yeah. So, okay. I thought it was a free place, Tom. I mean, yeah. All right. Jesus. All right. Jesus, Joseph and Mary. Anyways, um, so my lawnmower or my personal robot breaks. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I don't have to go to the mechanic and be like, hey, man... Can you fix my robot? I'll I'll give you some bread. It's more of, hey man, fi can you fix my robot? And that's sort of the service he provides. Cause he right. enjoys yeah. doing that. So um, there is like um, a there is sort of a it's sort of like a community pot almost. It's sort of how, how I think about it is. So you give your services to the community, and in return you receive you receive the services of everybody. Yep. Yeah. But it's not as, so. It's less of a, a direct bartering system. It's less of I'll give you two pieces of bread. It's a or Two loaves, yeah. loaves of bread for you fixing that robot. It's, it's I provide you with when bread. When you need bread, you, you get bread. When you need your robot fixed, your robot gets fixed. Yeah, mm -hmm. which I think is actually pretty cool. Yeah. So is that generally? Yeah, I mean it's the way it will be more complex than just that. Okay. For example, because a lot of people they have criticisms like, but what if someone decides that they want. 52 robots. Mm. Well, that isn't logical, and we're going to have to have yeah. a discussion about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, and there's also the fact that now the mechanic has said there's 15 people's robots. Yeah. Well, how, how, does, how is it determined? Yeah. 
Uh, how do we prioritize that as first come, first served, or first come, person first who needs it the most, or exactly. person I, well, who the, needs it the most, yeah, and it's most beneficial to society? Sorry, I was kind of, I was, say that again, sorry, because I was going eh, all over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what my version's for, we can cut your, yeah, hopefully. hopefully. I don't know how well you're talking. You're, but, anywho, um, so the way it sort of works, I don't know what we were just taught, wow. Yeah. I've drunk um, too much. No. Uh, I highly <laughs> emphasize logic in all decisions. Yeah. And so all important decisions get done by the community. And this is where the uh, smartwatch and the network come in. So you get notified when someone puts a legal proposition to the community. So if I think that there should be a new law enacted, mm -hmm. I type up a little thing saying, hey, this is my idea. Yeah. And then I put it into, it essentially becomes a forum where yeah. communities, that the community has a while to discuss it and go back and forth on the issue and come up with something that might make more sense and then it gets voted on at a certain time. Um, yeah. And everyone has a vote. And if there are more than just two options, then we use a certain type of voting system that I don't remember the name of, but I can find a YouTube video about it. <laughs> it's like STV that's, or that's something. Your, that's your, that's Which basically, you, you don't just vote for the one that you want, you vote for the one that you want the most, and then second, you third, fourth, and it gets ranked. So the, yeah. the one, the option with the lowest amount of votes gets taken away Oh. And their votes go to the second one that uh, that person had voted for, mm -hmm. or the second to last that person had voted for. Oh. Um, and you continue doing that until you get to the winner. Oh. Um, it, I probably just explained that badly, but it, yeah, I'll make sure it's done kind of properly in real life. I kind of understand what you're getting at, yeah. which hopefully means that other people will... Yeah. Um, so the, I've also been living with you for a while and understand yeah. the way you work, and so well, I think I can get the point across by saying the problem with the current United States process of voting, uh, like for president. So if there's three candidates, one is a third party. That mm -hmm. third party candidate is going to get a couple votes. All those votes would have gone to one of the other two candidates if the other two candidates weren't there. But these people yeah. that voted for the third party really believe in oh. the third party. I mean, Other people the... would have voted for that third party, but knew that other people weren't going to vote for the third party, and they thought that was going to be throwing away their vote. Mm. And so instead, they vote for a Republican or a Democrat. With this other type of voting, you can vote for the third party ah. as your number one, so think... and if that doesn't get enough votes, then your vote for second best still goes to a Democrat or Republican. Ah, uh, okay, so I, I sort of get, I think a better way to, to describe that would be, um, or maybe it's a, it might be even be a different system. So essentially, the way I'm thinking here is you have, you have like three options. Now, you have 100 people, 50 people vote for the first guy, or, well, I guess that would be bad. Um, 40 people vote for the first guy, like 40 people vote for the second guy, and 20? Yep. Wow. Um, 20 people vote for the third guy. Well, the third guy didn't get a majority vote, and the other people are, are tied. So now those 20 people now those make the decision. Votes. Those was well, it those 20 votes? Oh, okay, yeah, no. Those 20 votes get eliminated, and that and exactly. the 20 so people who placed those votes they're had a option. second vote that they put in as a so second. So their second place. option. Okay. So those get divvied up to the two remaining contestants. And Absolutely. now whoever has the majority wins. Okay, so sort of the way I was thinking of it would be like, there, it's already, there's a system in place, but essentially the sort of strung out version would be 40 people voted this guy, 40 people voted for this guy. Those 20 guys didn't win the vote. They now have to vote before one or the other of those guys. Yeah. But since it's a ranking system, that's eliminated. So their second choice gets, okay, I understand. Gets their vote, yeah. I understand. All right, that makes sense. That, yeah. That, yeah, that's, Kind of cool. Cause then Logical, it's, it's, right? <laughs> but um, then you have the option of what if people just... No, they don't like any of the options. They they have the option to abstain from voting. Okay, they don't have to vote. Like, it's not like... What country is it? Australia, maybe? There's some country that really actually fines people for not voting. I think... Which, 
it is Australia. Or maybe Canada? No. Hmm. No, Australia sounds... A I think it's Australia. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I don't want to fine people for not voting because if they yeah. really don't care, I don't want to make them vote. Yeah, exactly. That vote Cause doesn't then, count. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, it's it's a kind of a, a forced opinion. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so I guess the, uh, sorry, the question I had earlier before we went into the whole voting thing I, I forgot about, but um, is when it comes down to the money thing, um, you have... You have the the mechanic. Um, now the mechanic needs supplies. Yeah. The baker needs supplies. Right. Like the baker can get his supplies, like wheat and stuff, from the farmer who farms wheat or whatever. Oh, wheat. <laughs> wheat, yeah, <laughs> <his> wheat. <laughs> well, the farmer could farm wheat too. Special man. bakery. Like, yeah. I'm just Jeez, man, everything's free. It's Toby, man. Everything is... <laughs> we are not a hippie commune. Every No, man. It's free. Your energy flows can vibe with the universe, <laughs> which I know is <laughs> you. <laughs> we'll talk about energy flows in another podcast. But, um... Breathe, Tom. Breathe, breathe. Sorry. Let me drink. Yeah, have a drink. Um, so, so the question is, um, where do the supplies come from? You don't want money, but... The where you are isn't going to supply you with everything that you need, right? Um, so, when starting Topia, I'm going to have the interested parties, like the people who agree with me, uh, kind of quite a while ahead of time. Like I already have one person um, that they are in this and they are willing to put their money into starting it because. Mm -hmm. Startup costs are going to be significant. You're yeah. going to need investors. Buildings mm -hmm. made, the whole uh, open source ecology community starting kit, wow. uh, which yeah. is something you people should look up. To start, yeah, to start, well, to start, you need to yeah. essentially conform build to the society we currently live in. I need to build a village. Yeah. Um, which, uh, sorry, I, I actually didn't hear what was the form that you think people should look up? Open source ecology. Open source of yeah. okay. uh, there are a group of people that are working on uh, making basically everything that you need to start civilization from scratch, ish, and cheap ish. and <laughs> open sourced so that people can make improvements. Um, okay. Like they have a tractor, and right now, if you get a tractor from the store or a tractor company, if it breaks, you need to pay whole bunch of money to get it fixed. Yep. And you need to do that every time it breaks. Yep. With this tractor that the Open Source Ecology Project has designed, you know how to fix it yourself, and it's going to be cheaper to fix because okay. it's made from parts you can get at the hardware store. Okay. And it works. So, <laughs> well, all right, yeah. Anyway, so we get money to start up from a bunch of people that are interested in starting this with me. Yeah, and also probably people like me who are yeah, and donations the project accepted, and, please. Um, <laughs> yes, um, so but yeah. you have like back like and Black stuff. Bear Ranch is a community sort of like this that started in 1968. Yeah. They went around to millionaires and rock stars and asked for money from them and yeah. got money and started their own society. Yeah, which is awesome. But I don't know any millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you, so. So there are stuff. So there's the startup cost, yeah. which you have, have thought of. My question is, the during cost. Right. So there's a couple ways that this could be done. There. So most scholarships, there is a large amount of money that's in some sort of account with a bank or something. Yeah. And interest gets made, and the amount of money given each year by the scholarship is coming from that interest. Okay. So what we could do is get if we get a significant amount of money in the bank, we can just use the interest that we acquire as our funds for doing the things that we need to do. Okay. The other option is we can sell things to people outside of the community. And this is where artists come in. So if someone is passionate about making art, like a painting, we can yep. sell their painting and use that money to benefit the whole community. Yeah. So the artist isn't getting money for their work, but they're getting fed, and they're getting everything else that everyone else is getting. Okay. Um, 
and artists will also be able to just put their painting up, you know, on exhibit somewhere in Topia, which people like to go look at art. It makes them happy, and so it benefits their life, and they are benefiting the community by making art. I think this is a good thing because it includes more people that aren't necessarily useful in the common usage of the word usage. Useful. Um, yes, you're... We can sell our technology, of we um, can sell all sorts of things to the outside world. Yeah. So, you'll, so you'll still have those um, those earthly tethers, or those um, the societal tethers. Yeah. Um, we'll have trade agreements with other places. Well, but within the community, person to person, there's no um, yeah. monetary or... Right, there's no bargaining. Sort of interaction, no but in order to sustain the community outside of the self most mostly self-sustaining, but there are obviously yeah. stuff that can't be sustained, you will have funds and right. stuff and of so short. Part of being self-sustainable is having the ability to sell to outside places. Yeah. But all of our basic needs are met, so we are not actually reliant on outside places for surviving. And that is very important to me. Okay. Sorry. I just put some food in my mouth. And that door's not open. Close. Hold on. Um, so you're self-sufficient. And yeah, that's that's pretty cool. So, yeah, and then there'll be stuff like, like I said, I don't intend to live within the community, but intend to help because, you know, you're a friend and you I want to help you with your passions and you'll help me with my passions, I'm sure, yeah. as you have. We um, would be a great filming location. Exactly. So friendship, um, so of course then I'll be able to donate money for stuff and, yeah, and then I get to go there and have whoever I want. All the men and all the women will be mine for whatever <laughs> needs I require. Uh, <laughs> no. The topian but, uh, is not your personal... Um, courtesans. <laughs> <laughs> prostitutes is the word I was really... Oh, prostitutes. <laughs> That would imply that I'm paying them. Not um, all <laughs> Topians are prostitutes. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so I guess there's um, the question. The other question is, um, laws. You sort of went over a little bit of how laws come to be with the whole um, interface and stuff, um, which I guess makes it, it. It's difficult to talk about, and I think we've talked in we've talked in the past about. Um, laws and stuff, and the fact that y you have a rough constitution, but for the most no, part, it. I have <laughs> like four categories for the constitution. Okay, well, I thought and you like oh, don't I thought you had like a whole manifesto, um, but you have, but you you have an idea of sort of maybe what you'd like in the constitution, but that isn't necessarily. Yeah, so I have it separated happen. into a couple categories, like I said. Um, there's rights of the people, which like the Bill of Rights, you have the right to Watch love the person you love, since that was brought up earlier. Yeah. Um, you have the right to uh, eat what you want to eat, stuff, you know, basic rights, uh, freedom of speech and whatnot. Um, then there are duties of the mm -hmm. government. It's the government's job, because there's going to be some administrative work, even though it's direct democracy, there are people, you know, that are considered the government. Yeah. Um, and it's their job to make sure that the citizens are given what they need to survive. Yeah. So if th they need to manage crop production and imports and exports and all that, um, then there are restrictions of citizens. And people in the government are citizens. And so yes. restrictions of citizens applies to everyone. And those are the types of things like don't kill people, don't oh, rape people, don't do atrocious things to other people, don't steal, that stuff. Because really, All there's, stuff in, there's in no Bo need for stealing from the perspective of God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, that when you said, the, yeah. yeah. Don't play um, people. It's not that e complicated. Yeah, it's really not that I shouldn't hard. Shouldn't have to write it out for you, right? Like it will be written up, but it really shouldn't have to be. You know, really shouldn't have to be. I agree. Um, okay, all right. But then the way the laws will be done. Of course, you'll have the startup, and before you actually start, you're going to agree upon 
certain laws and stuff. Um, yeah. For start. How? Uh, oh, the other thing is um, military, and we talked about this on the porch um, a bit with the um, the fact that you are going to be within an already founded country. It's damn near yeah. impossible. Yeah, all um, land on Earth is claimed or nah. agreed upon by enough places that it cannot be claimed. Exactly. So um, the question, I believe, or the discussion we had um, was about um, aiding that or what happens when they're invaded or you're invaded. And so essentially the whole uh, defense yeah. thing. You, I believe you know what I'm so, talking about. Uh, yeah, terrible for a while guy. now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so... I would like every citizen in Topia to be trained in self-defense. Um, this allows like the Israelites, uh, yeah, or the Israelis. Except they don't. Israel right starts training their citizens at like eighteen or something. Yeah, they have the whole mandatory so thing. This but is anyway, like sorry. when part of the curriculum in the education system that I've also designed an education system um, is learning how to defend yourself. Um, so, this comes in handy in two ways. One, we have the ability to self-police, so we don't need designated police officers or security people, mm -hmm. although sentries may be good in times of war and whatnot. Yep. Um, but so, if you see someone doing something that they shouldn't, you have the ability if not by yourself and with a couple other people, when anyone that you find is going to be trained well enough yeah. to stop that person from doing what they shouldn't be doing. Yeah. you be like, hey, are you there? Yeah, hey, stop no, pissing you shouldn't on be doing person. that. What, oh, you want to fight about it? Hey, guys, this guy's doing this bad thing. Oh, now you don't want to fight about it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and also, if we get under attack by people outside and all the citizens are the militia, yeah. Like the Minutemen, we can be ready to defend ourselves as a community. And it, the nation that we're in, if they are being attacked and it's going to affect us or we think that it's a just cause anyway, we might be able to help the nation that we're in. And hopefully we're in good standing with the nation that we're in so that they aren't the ones attacking us. Yeah. Okay. I think that sort of makes sense. Um, let's be honest, I wasn't paying attention. I was back looking at Star Wars. My apologies. And also, you know, uh, this stuff is going to be more complicated than... Yeah, yeah. Than Obviously, this is all this is all more of your, your ideas and what you would like to do. And it's your passion and your opinion on your passion. Um, I guess, uh, are there any other bases in your... Stop. In... Oh, dear. Do you know when it's, it stopped? Oh, it stopped yeah. that long ago. Um, well, mine's still, I think I've been talking. Got most of it. Yeah. Uh, so we're talking off of my phone. Um, is there anything else? I think we're going to wrap up the podcast today because I'm not sure. If, are there any other topics, any other points you would like to uh, address about Topia and whatnot? Uh, no, not specifically. So... If people want to discuss this with me, I'm pretty much always up for that. Um, uh, let's see. How best should you contact me? You can send me a text at my Google Voice number, or I guess call me, at 978-842-1866. Uh, I don't really want to send <laughs> out my email, you know? But yeah, I can um, talk people with that number easily. Yeah, send 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 spam and love and hate to to Tom at that number. All of them. Um, all of those are are gracefully um, accepted for him to to read and and listen to and see and hear and whatnot. Uh, I don't but think I can receive pictures or anything at that number. Yeah, I, but I think you can. So yeah, I'm if you're interested, <laughs> if you're interested, that that is a, a source for you to reach out to, and um, I'm sure after doing a little bit of discussion and making sure you're not, you know, Hitler, or, you know, someone who's going to try well, and you know, take him out of the government or something. Learn how to stalk people on the internet. I'm sure you can find me. It's not that difficult. Well, okay. Anyways, reach out to him, and, and I'm sure there'll be...
stuff. Um, also, you can, if you're interested for any reason, um, I don't know why you would be, but if you're interested for any reason, I'm being a dick, I'm sorry, but if you are interested to support Tom's passion, uh, the starting of the society, um, financially, um, to help the start out, you can contact me contact him at that me. number and, and <laughs> you know look, look for a Kickstarter in in, in whenever um, uh, or an Indiegogo or a GoFundMe. And a half years until my twenty plan. Yes, there's minutes. there's a lot of stuff. But we hey, should talk about the, the that should maybe be your next thing, the year plans stuff. It, it's up to you. Okay. Um, that is that is it for the first podcast of the. What is the name of this again? Drinking Thoughts. Drinking Thoughts. Someone with... Yep. Well, uh, Tom? Tom? <laughs> sir? Sir? I will have another. Um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Anyways. Um, this has been Drinking Thoughts. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Come, well, <laughs> thank you. Come what again. are you, a poo? <laughs> like, no, we're like seven minutes. I'm not doing this, but I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. Uh, thanks so much for listening for this. 41, 40-something minute podcast of us kind of being stupid. Um, I would but, be very well, intelligent. You know, <laughs> sir, of us being us in talking. Um, yeah, uh, I, right now this is right on, I think this is only going to be on YouTube for right now until I figure out how to put it up on SoundCloud and iTunes and all the different podcast stuff. Um, if I do put this on iTunes, give us a rate and uh, a like and, and whatnot, and uh, of course this stuff is free, that's how podcasts work, but um, you can, uh, uh, so shameless self-plugs, um, let's see, you can go, you can go find us at the YouTube channel, Crazy is the New Sane, um, search for Tom Keeney, you can, you, you can, you can search for Tom, well now your last name is out there, yeah, so, Okay, you're fine with that. Okay, well, I mean, uh, my name, my internet person well, is not my... Our YouTube channel, internet. my name is on there, too. Yeah, okay, so you can go and you can search for, for Tom Keeney to see some parkour videos. You can search our stuff for interesting videos of weird, not, haven't been on there for a while, but anyways, you can search that. Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to plug your, your Tumblr? No. No? You're not going to talk about your Tumblr or poetry? I mean, at any point? You can plug it then. My personal one or my poetry one? No one. Oh, if you don't, if you don't want to, there is one follower on my personal one, and I don't know why. Let's get okay. You know what? This podcast and its audience, whatever it may be, it's now its main mission is to listen to this podcast whenever it comes out, and its secondary mission is to get Tom's Tumblr page to the in the top one hundred to one million followers, or, or in the top one hundred Tumblr followed pages and such. That's the new thing, and he's going to have to start actually posting on that, because I have a feeling he probably hasn't posted on that in a while, have you? More than my poetry one. Okay. Anyways, all right, so that's about it, guys. Thanks so uh, much again. This is username. this has been... Oh, yeah, what's your username? I'm sorry. So it's T-O-M-O-N-K-E-Y-4-4 at or, uh, dot Tumblr dot com. Okay, so longest outro known to man right there. Uh, bye. Thanks, and have a good night or day or whatever. I love you. <laughs> That's so awkward. Anyways, all right, bye. <laughs> how do you turn this thing off? No, actually, how do you turn this thing Not even as a joke, but... Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching that podcast. It was fucking awesome, wasn't it? It was pretty good. Topia sounds pretty cool. Uh, again, if you ever want to check out anything we talk about on these podcasts, on any videos, on anything, links are always down in the description, uh, or in the doobly-doo in my waistpants. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, please, if you want to check out anything we do, anything we, anything, just, uh, just go check that out. Uh, thanks so much. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you, well, we'll see you, you're going to see us next week. So, bye now.